Hi everyone, this video is all about creating an app in the Azure portal and this app is the first step for us to be able to import chat records on an incident ticket or to be able to view service portal in Microsoft Teams itself without a need to log in into the browser. So let's get started. First of all, I am going to navigate to app registrations in the Azure portal and I am going to click on new registration for me to be able to register an app. So I'm going to give the same name as mentioned in the documentation. So it's not auth app and then I need to specify a redirect URI which is this one. Now I'm going to click on register. So now my app is successfully created on the portal and let me copy this information which I'm going to need soon to configure a few other things. And now I'm going to navigate to authentication. Under authentication, I need to add a platform. Under web applications, let's, uh, let's click on web. And then more or less URL is going to be the same. Let's click on configure again and then both my redirect URIs are configured now. I am going to select both access tokens and ID tokens over here. Let's click on save. Okay, so this information looks good. Now I am going to add a permission. Where it is? Okay, yeah. I need to go to API permissions and I will click on add a permission under Microsoft Graph, delegated permissions. Then I have open ID permissions. Let's select all of them email offline access open ID event profile I'm going to click on add permissions so all those permissions which I have selected are now added to my list and I'm going to grant admin consent for these permissions so I will click here and now click on yes So I think it is configured. Okay, I think I clicked twice. That's why we were getting that error. It is already granted as we can see in the status column. So now the next step is to expose an API. I'm going to go to expose an API and then I'll click on add a scope so here I need to specify my URL first which is this one and then I need to specify my client ID so I'm going to copy the client ID from here. Looks like it is already present. 
but just to be double sure I am going to paste the one copied over here and now let me click on save and continue so then I need to specify a name for my scope let me give it as as a user who can consent admins and users can consent admin confirm display name teams can access the users profile admin consent description to all the then user consent display name though this is optional but we can specify something Now user consent description buttons to call this okay nice with the as the user so state is enabled and now let's click on add scope so my scope is successfully added now and then I need to add a client application so this client application ID refers to the app ID which my app is going to interact with so for now I am just going to add the client ID which I just copied which is this one and adding a client application is also complete from here now what's next This part is done. Everything here also is done. So we are now complete with whatever changes we needed to do in our service now auth app in the Azure portal. So nothing else is required to be done in the app here. All the changes which are now required are supposed to be done in the service now instance. So this completes our first step uh, about the steps which I mentioned in the beginning of this video that this will enable us to see our service portal in the Microsoft Teams and to be able to import chat records on an incident ticket. So this first step is complete and thank you for watching this and in our next video we'll continue from here and we'll try to configure things in the service now instance till then take care stay safe and don't forget to subscribe and also there's an error in this video which i am recording now so if you guys can figure out before i upload my next video and add the error in the comment section <clears throat> let's see how many of you can figure it out Thank you for watching.